the concerning trend of violent crime on the rise after progress was made last year. So last year, homicides were down by more than 20 percent following some of the deadliest years in the city's history from 20. But in the first four months of the year, we're going in the wrong direction. According to new police data, there were 53 homicides through April, seven more than the year prior, and on the worst pace than 2022 when the city finished with 200. And total violent crime, which includes things like assault, is also up compared to the past couple of years. There is one bright spot, property crime, down about 25% from this time last year. All right. Thank you. You've already are always able to give a good perspective on maybe some of the causes that we're seeing in the community when it comes. To uh oh, he's gonna tell us the causes, man. <laughs> oh Lord, press one if you think he's gonna say DNA, man. <laughs> this violent crime. So that so let's start there. What are you all seeing at the Urban League that might be causing this uptick in violent crime? Well, well, Corey, it really starts within the family, and it starts within the neighborhood. I mean, right. I, I believe it's to some extent it's a it's a mix of environment and genetics. But once you just say no, it's just all environment and it's just all culture, then it's like, bro, you gotta you're not get to the heart of it, bro. How could sons create an environment that wouldn't foster this type of behavior? Yep. Because like like you said, and when you say it's environment, right, you're assuming that well, if they had a, a safe communities and great schools and we can't we if we're there that none of that stuff is is possible that's right they never get to that bro that's my that's one of my it's like they think they act like an environment just fucking appears out of thin air it's the like people no, make the, the environment 